Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. Chaos unfolding in Texas this morning. Reports of what's being described as a mass shooting at a college party. Right now, a manhunt underway for who fired those shots. This is a rapidly developing story right now this morning. Lots of new information coming in. Where the shooting first started spreading across social media in the middle of the night when students began posting videos of terrifying moments inside that party venue. Our Larry Spruill is here closely following the story. Larry, what do we know so far? Well, good morning, Rod and Sean. A lot of new information coming in at this very hour, but we do know that as of right now that there is a news conference going on, so we want to take a quick second and listen in to what they have to say. You discuss that at all? Not, not this time. And you had said the people in attendance, college-age people, uh, they, they came from, you said, uh, what's that, the Greenville, Ar the Fort Worth, where, where? Arlington, Cedar Hill, Fort Worth, Dallas. So was this something that was put commerce. on the internet to the students to come here for this party or something? Or I have, I'm having a difficult time hearing your question. Was this something that was put out on the internet for all the kids to come here? I was I was told one of the witnesses said they got it on Twitter. Twitter? Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, I'm sorry. Chief, the deputies got here and then the shooting happened and after that or? Yes, the deputies, the deputies arrived at the location, and then while they're about 15 minutes after they were here, the shooting came, erupted. The shooting happened in the, in, and it, yeah. the shooting happened inside. I'm sorry, the cars were going by. Yes. Sorry. Could you repeat that? You, what was the timeline? The, of the, the deputies arrived here about 11.30, about 11.45. I mean, 15 minutes after they got here, the shooting started. But they were still here, the deputies? They were the, still out here? Yes. Okay. They were on the front side, and the shooting took place on the back side. Inside the building, or? That's not known for certain. And so, but the, but the, the deputies were here on the, were outside of the building when it Yes. Happened. And they, because they were tending to, what, some illegal parking? They were dealing with the crowd that was on the parking lot. Okay, dealing with the crowd, crowd control. Yeah, yes. Okay. And I'm late to arrive, sorry, I work for NBC in Dallas. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of new information coming in at this very hour, but let's take a look at the scene video from that party. We're able to show you limited video because most of the video into our newsroom is just too graphic. But here's what we know. Multiple news agencies are reporting that the party was a part of the Texas A&M Commerce homecoming. Police have not confirmed details of the incident, but we do know multiple people are injured. At least two people are believed to be dead this morning. So once again, Sean and Rod, a lot of new information coming in at this very hour. We will continue to follow this story, and I'll have another report coming up in just 30 minutes. Amazing that police officers were actually there right? as the calls came in. Sure. Larry, right. on top of it for mm -hmm. us this morning, we'll check in with you as you get new information mm -hmm. for us. All right, let's talk also about big news here at home, the weather, some strong bands of wind moving through overnight and early this morning in Metro Detroit. Right now, closing down roadways for high water, blowing debris on highways from a storm system stemming from tropical storm, uh, what was tropical storm, Olga, they churned up from down south. Before hitting Michigan, the remnants of Tropical Storm Olga brought some wild weather to several other states. Some scary video here. It's out of Memphis. Look at this. Powerful oh winds and more than 50 mile an hour winds actually pushed an airport jet bridge uh, into the airport here in Memphis. Look at that. <laughs> that jetway, by the way, weighs several tons. Now, back here at home, we're looking at much calmer weather for this afternoon. And, Andrew, uh, looking at the football game last night, the rain looked like snow out there. Exactly right. That's how hard it was raining last night in both East Lansing oh, and over in Ann Arbor. We still have some rain that lingers. You can see this big spin in the atmosphere. Olga, which was centered in the Gulf of Mexico less than two days ago, is now centered right here in southern Michigan, but it continues to pull away. So these are the last bits of rain that continue to fall. Many areas already about a half inch to an inch or more of rain uh, over the past 24 hours. As Olga continues to spin away, it also moves to the northeast and will be out of our hair shortly within the next couple of hours. Once it lifts, it does get drier, but it does remain windy out there. We've got winds at around 10 to 20 miles per hour for today, so hold on to your hats. It remains breezy. Temperatures around the upper 50s to about 60 degrees by midday, but then fall during the afternoon. We'll talk more about this and your full seven-day forecast coming up.
Thanks for the update. Let's talk about how the remnants of Olga are affecting the roads right now. Northbound 75 at Allen Road down in Southgate. It's closed right now due to flooding. It's been closed for hours, so be aware of that in the Downriver area. This morning's wild weather is having an impact on other area roadways area wide. Right now, take a look. This is the southbound lodge right at the Davison. You can see there it's closed. Traffic is exiting to the eastbound Davison right now. Reports of ponding water, and we saw several spin outs of cars. Be careful. Orange traffic barrels now blowing across the lodge this morning, so something to look out for. Let's check DTE's outage map. All this high wind we've learned about. There's 25,000 storm related outages right now across Metro Detroit. Most of the outages happen around four this morning when a lot of that wind came through. DTE tells us crews are out working on it right now and that most customers should have their power back on by about 8 o'clock this evening. So we'll be checking that for you as well all throughout the day. Breaking news from overnight, all, all eyes on Washington, D.C. this morning. President Trump is scheduled to announce a major announcement. It's going to take place at 9 this morning. Now, news of that announcement came late Saturday night, not long after President Trump tweeted this. Something very big just happened. Now, this morning, NBC News is citing a senior military official who says the announcement will be that U.S. military forces in Syria have killed the leader of ISIS, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, who has been in hiding for at least five years now. The report claims that al-Baghdadi was killed in a U.S. special forces raid in northwest Syria late on Saturday. And this, this brand new video released by a Syrian activist group claims to show that raid late last night, but it has not been independently verified by NBC News. So you're going to want to stay with Local 4 News and click on Detroit.com. We'll have the latest information on our website as soon as that announcement happens, as well as further coverage on the Today Show at 9 a.m. Developing news out of Ferndale, where a woman apparently walks into busy traffic on Woodward overnight at Nine Mile, and now doctors trying to save her life at the hospital. She was hit by a car on Nine Mile in Woodward late last night. Police blocked off the area for hours during that investigation. Our Coco McAboy has the story from Ferndale. The area was blocked off for hours as police investigated the crash, and we spoke to a man who says he ran over to the victim to try to help. It was terrible. Peter Comstock recalls the crash he witnessed this evening. A 31 year old woman was hit by a car in downtown Ferndale. She stepped into the road and got got hit bad. Police say the driver was southbound on Woodward near Nine Mile when the crash happened. It wasn't a good sight. I ran out there, tried to, you know, tried to talk to her. She was breathing. She was blinking her eyes. Police immediately started investigating, singling out pieces of evidence like a shoe the woman left behind in the road. The driver also stayed on scene, talking to investigators about what happened. Comstock says the woman tried crossing when there was a lot of traffic. It didn't seem like she could cross. You know, there was just too many cars at a high rate of speed. The woman was sent to the hospital with life threatening injuries and now police are continuing their investigation to determine who had the right of way and what exactly caused the crash. I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4. All right, so here's the latest this morning. The victim's name not being released as she's still in the hospital. We are still working to learn more about her condition this morning. Well, turning to East Lansing, where a pregame party before the MSU football game took a scary turn when a porch collapsed. Gets you closer to the scene here. Multiple people injured when the porch on this home at Elm and Center Street fell onto people below. It's unclear how many people were on that porch. Fire officials say it could have been anywhere between 10 to 35 people. Hear from one man who witnessed the whole thing. There were a bunch of people just on that kind of balcony landing thing and I just saw like a beam kind of swing down and then kind of heard like a cracking thing and then just came down. Looks like a scary scene there. The good news this morning, we're told none of the injuries here after this collapse are life threatening. Well, Detroit police need help locating a 14 year old girl. She's Carly Madison Sparks and DPD says the last time her family saw her was Friday night at her home on Buffalo Street between Eight Mile and Mount. Now, her family says that she's five foot three inches tall, around 160 pounds. 
if you can help find Carly Madison Sparks. There's a good picture of her right there. Please call Detroit Police. You can even call the 11th Precinct in the area where she went missing. Well, some UAWGM workers at the Detroit Hamtramck plant are going to be back to work tonight. An unusual third shift being called with workers to clock in at 10 p.m. The UAW ratified a new agreement with the GM this past Friday. That approved deal sets the stage for what comes next. The union opens talks with Ford tomorrow. 610 on a Sunday. Let's talk about what's happening today. Senator Bernie Sanders and Representative Rashida Tlaib are hosting a rally right here in Detroit. It's taking place at Cass Tech High School at 5 today. Jack White will also be there to open the event with a performance. The rally is free. It's open to the public. Doors open there at Cass Tech at 3.30. All right, we're off to a running start on a Sunday. So much going on. We're following the breaking news out of Texas. Our weather kind of changing depending on how those bands come through. The wet, My drive-in was nuts. Yeah, I, and mine was calm. So, I, I, Andrew, help us explain how that all works. Well, that's those are some of the last bits of moderate to heavy rain that's occurring right now as that storm continues to spin, spin around southeast Michigan, but it's also pulling away. So any heavy rain that's around you right now will soon be leaving. You can see that here on 4 Live Radar. So once it leaves later today, what is left over? We'll talk more about that with your Sunday afternoon forecast, and we'll see if we get a break from the rain for tomorrow and this week coming right up. Plus, the shocking video that shows window washers dangling from a scaffolding as it's thrown into the building. Look out. Whoa. Never know what's going to happen. This baby fell out of the sky and landed in our yard. Well, you heard that right. One Michigan woman searching for answers this morning after something falls from outer space, and you heard her, lands in her backyard. What is it? There are two places that are great for learning how to drive. An empty parking lot and inside a Volkswagen. Come in now to your Volkswagen dealer and lease the sporty, driver-inspired 2019 Jetta S for just $159 a month. Wherever you go, go confidently with the benefit of Blue. Medicare Advantage plans from Blue Cross give you all the things you need to feel completely cool in every situation. Want your free information kit on Medicare? It's yours. Call now to get the peace of mind that comes from finding the plan that fits your needs and could save you money. There's no obligation. Want to keep your doctor? You got it. Blue Cross has the largest network of doctors and hospitals across the country. And Blue Cross Medicare Advantage plans start as low as $0 per month. Don't wait. Medicare's enrollment period ends December 7th. So call now to get this free Medicare information kit with specific plan information and benefits. Do you have the confidence that comes with a Medicare Advantage plan from Blue Cross? You will. When you choose Blue Cross, Wherever you go, go confidently. That's the benefit of blue. Experience the galling difference at the all-new Galling Toyota in Warren on the corner of Van Dyke and I-696. Right now, lease the 2019 Camry LE for as low as $216 a month. Get to the all-new Galling Toyota in Warren today. Your water softener needs salt. You buy it, lug it, pour it over and over. Save salt and the hassle with a Culligan High Efficiency Water Softener. The world's best. Click or call Culligan Water and start saving today. There are no shortcuts in our work. Our clients have only one shot at getting what they deserve in court, and we're there with them every single step of the way. Sunday brunch is permission to cheat on your diet, your chores, and your resolve to do some work ahead of Monday. Sunday brunch is salvation. Sunday brunch is Royal Oak. Life down playing. Check us out at downtownroyaloak.org. You can't fake the goodness of real strawberries, the crunch of real almonds, the taste of real raspberries. We use real ingredients because you can't fake delicious. Special K. Most people like to know how fast their car goes from zero to 60. But wouldn't you prefer to know how fast it goes from 60 to zero? Come in now to your Volkswagen dealer and lease a sophisticated and capable 2019 Tiguan S4 motion for just $209 a month. 614 on a uh, Sunday morning here. <laughs> I was going to say beautiful. Boy, <laughs> no, uh, whew, the weather is interesting, but hopefully it moves out in time for the game. Look at this. We're hours away from kickoff at Ford Field here in downtown Detroit. Our Lions hosting the New York Giants. Welcome back, Golden Tate at 1 o'clock this afternoon. So we got tailgaters going over to Eastern Market, Brush Park, and the like around Ford Field. 
What's it going to be like all the tailgaters coming downtown to join us this morning? Well, it still remains wet out there, so for early risers who might be getting here downtown early or at least preparing early, as you're doing some driving around, it'll still be wet on area roads. We got some freshly fallen leaves as well, so it makes it extra slippery, so be careful out there. If you're ahead uh, other places or going to, more, to and from morning services this morning or to other activities, we still have bands of rain that are moving through and some scattered showers here in southeast Michigan, including right here in Detroit and parts of Wayne County. You can see that here, especially over here on the east side, also around Harper. Harper, Harper Woods, southern portions of Macomb County, but nothing as heavy nor as widespread as what we experienced yesterday afternoon and certainly last night. The last bits of more uh, moderate showers and the areas where it's more widespread occurring in the thumb right now, but this is all rotating and lifting to the northeast pretty quickly. But for at least the next few hours, the spin in the atmosphere is still going to hang around southern Michigan. It won't be until about 8, 9 o'clock this morning until it actually moves away completely inviting drier conditions later on today. But it does remain breezy and those winds first out of the southwest bringing in some milder air this morning. So it'll be around 60 degrees around 1 p.m. when the Lions kick off against the New York Giants. But those, those that'll be the mildest portion of the day. Once those winds switch and come out of the west, it cools off just a bit with temperatures falling back through the 50s down to the low 50s by the end of the game. But it will be sunnier for the ride home. So a little wet and slippery on the way to the game, traveling from the game, whether it's by halftime or afterward, we're looking at a drier commute. Temperatures right now mostly in the 50s and they stay that way. This forecast is true for your neighborhood as well. It remains breezy all day, so grab those windbreakers, grab those jackets as well as it gets chillier during the afternoon. Low 50s and upper 40s by later this evening. Currently it's 52 degrees, still got some rain over at the airport, and look at that wind speed of 25 miles per hour, giving you an idea of how windy it actually is. Watch out for flying, falling debris that might be out there, or possibility of some fallen tree branches that might be out there as well. Not very widespread, but at least in some isolated spots with those winds that have picked up. 57 degrees for our friends in Port Huron, milder there, hanging around 50 degrees in Ann Arbor, 50 degrees also for our friends over in Monroe. But this time of day and midday, the mildest portion of the day and the wettest portion. By noontime and 1 o'clock, it gets drier once the storm system leaves us. In its wake, we'll see sunnier skies for the afternoon. But when those winds switch and come out of more westerly direction, it'll bring in that chillier air for the second half of our day later on tonight and for at least the overnight hours. So 59 for a high today, but that's around lunchtime. 40s overnight tonight. Again, it gets drier today with some sunshine by the end of it. Mostly sunny on Monday. High still around 60 degrees in the afternoon. Same thing on Tuesday, but wouldn't you know it? Rain comes back in. It gets chilly again. Make sure the kids are later layered up underneath their costumes. 40s on Halloween with some rain showers. For live traffic now and Kim. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. We've got a lot of construction to get around, so I'll start with the big one. Eastbound I-94 is closed right now between Michigan Avenue to I-75. This closure will end tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. In the meantime, you can exit at Greenfield and take Michigan Avenue downtown instead. Also on I-94, the eastbound lanes between 8 Mile to I-696. There's only one lane open there. This will end tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. East and westbound I-94 between I-275 to Telegraph, only one one lane open there as well, also ending tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. Speaking of telegraph, we do have the orange barrels out there on the north and southbound lanes between County Center Drive to Dixie Highway. That is currently closed until 8 p.m. And then the north and southbound lanes of telegraph between Civic Center Drive to 12 Mile, only one lane open there. This ends tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. All right, Kim, thank you. Much more still ahead this morning, including a bizarre mistake with a very high price tag. Could be your favorite story of the day. Why a group of Russian researchers are having big regrets about their experiment tracking eagle migration routes. You got me. I got to see that story. <laughs> okay, meanwhile, some shocking video here. Whoa, show scaffolding swinging in the Look sky. Out. Window washers, oh boy, dangling as the platform hits a high rise. What helped the workers? escape any injury, thank goodness. That's why they make the big bucks. Plus, a distributing claim, make that a disturbing claim, from a Southwest Airlines flight attendant. She says she has proof that she was being recorded in the bathroom on board a flight. But first, a train derailment in Michigan. It happened Saturday. What caused all of these cars to go off the tracks and how long the cleanup 
is going to take. This is the final weekend of October, October 27th. Let's celebrate you this morning. Adelaide DeVozo is two today. Happy birthday. Birthday wishes for Faith Talia this morning, turning four. Olivia Osak, five today. Happy birthday, Olivia. Landon Marshevsky is turning seven. Happy birthday, Landon. Mackenzie Wilson is nine. Happy birthday, Mackenzie. And birthday wishes this morning to Tyler Hall. Your double digits, 10 today, Tyler. All right, and Cody Mitchell turns 13. Timothy Gardner is 16. Runa McNair turns 22. Happy birthday. Faith Baker is 29. And Kathy Lehman is 56. Happy birthday, Carrie Soames. Checking in at 56 today. Teresa Gibson, 58. Teresa, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jeff Martin. Checking in at 65. Diane Plodzik, 66 today. Diane, make it a great day. And Peter Cushing, 68. Peter, all right. Happy birthday to you. And it's a special day for Marva Tinsley. She's 75 years young. Dorothy Cleveland and Leola Logan are 90 years young. Congratulations. Douglas Boyd and Linda Hawthorne, well, they've opted out of giving their age. Probably a good answer. Don't put that cake away. We have anniversaries to celebrate. Mike and Denise Osterman, they're 31st. Way to go, guys. Carlos and Vicki Tucker, they're 39th. All right. And we also have a very special congratulations this morning to a local four family member in the booth right now, our producer Dylan Dolberg. All right, a round yeah. of applause. Congrats on your new job way out west. Going, going to where it's hot all the time. Of course, Good luck. we'll miss you here in the Motor City. <laughs> Best of luck to you, Dylan. The perfect gift, one-fifth carat studs, 69, diamond pendants, 99, half-carat hoops, 299, and diamond tennis bracelets, 399 per carat. Thousands of forever gifts guaranteed to appraise for double. Buy Factory Direct and save big. The Jewelry Exchange Livonia. So that early retirement we planned, it's going okay? Great. Now I'm spending more time with the kids. I'm introducing them to crab. Crab? They love it. So you mentioned that money we set aside. Yeah, the kids and I want to build our own crab shack. Ah, oh, you're finally building an outdoor kitchen. Yep, with room for the whole gang. See how investing with a J.P. Morgan advisor can help you. Visit your local Chase branch. Sunday, Art Van Furniture says thank you for 60 years with up to 60% off store-wide. Plus an extra 15% off the lowest price. Get 0% financing for 60 months. Plus, 60 amazing door busters. Accent chairs, $96. Dining sets, $346. Reclining sofas, $596. The 60th anniversary sale at Art Van Furniture and Mattress. Sunday till 9 p.m. When you're ordering groceries, you want the freshest, most delicious choices around. Whether it's for a quick and easy weekday meal or a sensational Sunday celebration, we get you. And we've got that. And now you can get home delivery in as fast as one hour or enjoy same day pickup at the store. Either way, we think you're really going to like how easy it is. See you online. It's a good day to be alive. I've lived in this community a long time. And I don't know how you live in a community and not care about your neighbors. At the Mike Morse Law Firm, we've tried to do our part in lots of ways. We show it with every case. We fight hard, not because we can't stand to lose, but because people are counting on us to win. There are many cases, but only one is your case. We never forget that. I'm Mike Morse, and let's go for the win. 855 Mike Wins. Search for a really strong glue that's clear. Sorry, I didn't get that. Clear glue. <laughs> Clear Gorilla Glue. Of course. Gorilla Glue Strength in a crystal clear formula for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. It's dinner time in America, and the breadwinner arrives home from a long day at work. Now the family can sit down at the table where everyone knows to be mindful of their manners. Dinner time has changed. Our quality hasn't. Reynolds Wrap, foil made in the USA since 1947. Congratulations to the local high school students and teachers who won our Poor Frenzy Fan Choice Awards presented by DMC Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. Meyer, your Southeast Michigan Ford dealer, Hungry Howie's, and Project Play Southeast Michigan. Would you ever like to get just the news you really care about? Well, local four newsletters can do that for you. Get your homie Hank consumer alerts. The fun stuff from Live in the D or start your day with the morning report. Just go to the newsletters tab and click on Detroit.com and you can thank me later. 
Let's take a look at this. A major mess in northern Michigan after a train derailed. The derailment happened around 11 Saturday morning in Mansalona between Rapid City and Gaylord. Investigators now trying to figure out why seven cars carrying cargo went off the tracks here. Cleanup is expected to take several days as heavy equipment needs to be brought in to handle the job. Cell bills can be quite costly for a family, but a group of eagles used in a study racked up quite the bill themselves. These guys are scientists, but we know they're not economists. The study used tracking beacons to send text reporting the birds migration patterns. What scientists didn't count on was the roaming <laughs> charges they accumulated. <laughs> the charges were so high, the researchers had to take out a loan to pay for them. <laughs> just take a look at how far these eagles <laughs> went. Just one of the Eagles went so far, of course, it took up the entire budget. Luckily, the team was able to pay the charges using a money raising campaign. <laughs> wow. That's a great story. That's something else. Disturbing allegations this weekend against two pilots. They fly with Southwest Airlines. A lawsuit filed by a Southwest flight attendant accuses the pilots of live streaming video from a plane's bathroom. Now, the flight attendants say that she discovered, the flight attendant says that she discovered the live stream back in February 2017 during a flight from Pittsburgh to Phoenix. She was called into the cockpit, says that she saw an iPad showing images of the plane's bathroom. This morning, attorneys for the pilots have denied all of the allegations. Now, turning to Edmonton, Alberta, an impressive picture. Some window washers are happy to be back on solid ground after their scaffolding is repeatedly slammed against a building on Saturday. Now, the video captured by a witness shows the window washing platform swinging back and forth and then smashing through windows in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Mm. At one point, you see oh, one of the workers geez. actually thrown from the scaffolding. Fortunately, he was wearing his safety harness. It just happened so quickly, you know, and the wind just hit and then boom, it just started swinging and like you can't control that. I had to walk away. I couldn't watch. You thought maybe this guy was going to die? Well, we thought he was going to fall. Yeah. Like, fall. Look at the rescue here. Oh, there's even a the glass is broken. You hit it so hard. Emergency crews arriving on scene minutes later. They're able to set up a ladder truck and reach that dangling worker. That guy, all the employees eventually rescued and no one was injured. How do you get back in that thing to continue, say, though? Do you, do you think he was back on the job come well, Monday? you got a lot of respect Ooh, for guys, look men and women to do that job. Best Buy now revving up uh, for the holiday season already. They're offering customers free next day delivery. The retailer is offering the promotion to uh, is making it available to nearly all customers during the holiday season. And it includes items except large ones like refrigerators and big screen TVs. Customers outside of the next day zone will be given free standard shipping on everything. And no membership or minimum purchase is needed to take advantage of the offer. In other news this morning, a California man went out on a fishing trip and came back with a big story to tell after coming face to face with one of those great whites. His name is David Zamora. He headed out on a kayak to go fishing with a buddy off the coast of Cambria Friday morning. Shortly after the trip took a frightening turn when a 10 foot great white bit into his kayak. He was flipped into the water. He was able to get back into the kayak. The two called for help over a radio. Smart move. And they were rescued by nearby boaters. 6.20 on a Sunday, we continue to follow some breaking news out of northern Texas. Chaotic scene here. There's been a deadly shooting reported at a college homecoming party in Greenville. That's just north of Dallas. Reports right now, two dead, 14 injured. And right now, no arrests have been made. We're going to have a live report updating the latest from this shooting when we come back. Save thousands on the new Michael Phelps Swim Spas by Master Spas and build your dream backyard at the Hot Tub and Swim Spa Show this weekend at the Lakeside Mall in Sterling Heights. For details, go to poolandspashow.com or call 1-800-SPA-SALE. That's 1-800-SPA-SALE. Feel good in your skin and step out with confidence. Call Linda today at Northville Beauty Spa to get rid of acne scars, stretch marks, wrinkles, and more. Tough Shed takes outdoor living to a whole new level, from storage and organization to entertaining. Get the backyard you've dreamed of all summer with a new shed, garage, or studio, delivered and installed on site. From small storage solutions to extra large buildings, Tough Shed has what you need. 
And with our easy to use design tool, you can create the building you want from the inside out. So enjoy the fall season and let Tough Shed do the hard work for you. Dream, design, build at toughshed.com. So what makes Premier Pet Supplies so special? Well, for one thing, we have pet supplies you won't see anywhere else. A huge selection of premium pet food, unique toys, and everything pet lovers need to care for their pets. Here at Premier Pet Supply, we cater to all of Metro Detroit's pets with brands like Neutro, Iams, Caesar, Greenies, Temptations, and Sheba. Right now, get $10 off large bags of Neutro and $5 off 36-ounce Greenies. Premier Pet Supply, the place pets love. It's official. Independent Carpet One in Westland is now an exclusive retailer of Karistan Carpets. We are thrilled to welcome Karistan to Independent Carpet One Floor and Homes showroom here in Westland. Karistan is known for luxury, style, beauty, performance, durability, and selection. Take a look for yourself and see how beautiful carpets from Karistan can make your home beautiful. Karistan and Independent Carpet One in Westland, providing the best carpets at the best prices for over a century. Save thousands on the new Michael Phelps Swim Spas by Master Spas and build your dream backyard at the Hot Tub and Swim Spa Show this weekend at the Lakeside Mall in Sterling Heights. For details, go to poolandspashow.com or call 1-800-SPA-SALE. That's 1-800-SPA-SALE. Got of Two people killed, 14 others rushed to the hospital. A homecoming party for Texas A&M Commerce turns deadly when someone opens fire inside a crowded party venue. All right, so according to the Gun Violence Archive, as of today, the 300th day of the year, there have been more than 360 shootings across the United States with multiple victims, and that's since January 1st. Now, the latest community to be struck by this tragedy is Greenville, Texas, a community about an hour north of Dallas. Now, Larry Spruill is following the very latest in the story. Larry, we've learned some new information since you were here just a few minutes ago. Yeah, a lot of good and new information coming into the newsroom. Now, we do know that at this very hour, police have confirmed two people are dead and at least 14 are injured. Now let's take a look at some scene video from that party. We can only show you limited video because most of the video that's coming into our newsroom is just too graphic. But here's what we know. Police have confirmed that this party happened during the Texas A&M Commerce homecoming weekend. Police just told our sister station in Dallas they got a call around 1130 last night about parking and traffic issues outside the location of the party. 15 minutes later, they heard gunshots from inside. There's no, there's no motive that I've been informed of right now. It's early in the investigation. It's my understanding there were uh, young people. Any, they were from Fort Worth, Arlington, Cedar Hill, Dallas, and Commerce, and Greenville. And police did also confirm the suspect used a semi-automatic rifle, but there are still a lot of questions about this shooting. Police are still working to identify the shooter. Now I'm going through the rest of the news conference. I'll have another report at the top of the hour. John and Rod, back to you guys. All right, Larry, thank you. Of course, we're going to continue to follow the story all morning long for you. Keep you updated right here on air on air. Larry's checking the latest out of Texas. Also online. Look for updates on click on Detroit.com. Now switching gears back here at home. The powerful storm system that swept through southeast Michigan last night's come and gone. But let's send things over to Andrew Humphrey. Andrew, can we expect a day? Uh, you know, of, of more of this kind of stuff? Well, Rod, it's in the process of leaving, so that's some good news. Yes, it's wet for now, but these are the last raindrops that are falling here in Detroit and southeast Michigan, mainly north of 8 Mile, as you can see. Still pretty widespread with at least light rain here in Oakland County, here in the city of Detroit, northern portions of Wayne County, but all this lifting to the northeast and ending over the next few hours, meaning a drier second half to our morning and a drier afternoon as this area of low pressure continues to pull away. Once it does, it does become sunnier by the end of the day, but it does become a little cooler. Right now we have temperatures in the mild 50s for the most part. We'll still make it up close to 60 degrees by midday, but during the afternoon with winds out of the west blowing in some cooler air, temperatures fall into the middle and then low 50s. Still have lakeshore flood concerns here in green for Sanilac and St. Clair counties up until about 8 o'clock this morning, so keep that in mind as well. We'll talk more about your Monday forecast and your Halloween forecast coming up.
All right, Andrew, we have a four live traffic update for you right now. Flooding has shut down all southbound lanes of the lodge at the Davison and more flooding concerns down in Southgate. Northbound I-75 completely shut down at Allen Road. We're going to continue to keep an eye on these roads for you all morning. 634 on a Sunday, a double murder investigation in northern Michigan after two correction officers were found dead in a home near Kingsley. That's about 15 miles south of Traverse City. The tragic discovery was made on Friday. The two women ages 53 and 49, they live together and they also work together at the Oaks Correctional Facility near Manistee. No other details have been provided. The sheriff's office does say they do not believe there is a threat to the public as they continue to look into what happened. A teen was shot multiple times Saturday afternoon. It happened on Detroit's east side as he was taking out the trash. Police say two people walked up to the 19 year old near Verner and Mount Elliott. They said it was a holdup and they shot him. Those shooters ran off. The teen is expected to recover. Investigators still working to identify any possible suspects. A peaceful protest held outside Founders Brewing on Saturday in Detroit's Cass Corridor. Right, this demonstration comes a day after the brewery announced an indefinite closure as it faces fallout from a racial discrimination lawsuit. The lawsuit centers around a former employee who accuses the state's largest beer maker of firing him after complaining about a racist work environment. Several employees took part in the protest on Saturday, which aimed to address discrimination in the workforce. On Saturday, instead of volunteering or exploring the outdoors, a group of Girl Scouts tried their hands at cybersecurity. Now, Blue Cross Blue Shield hosted more than 100 cadets in its first ever Cyber Girl event, gave the Scouts an opportunity to learn their basics of cybersecurity from experts. I'm excited that Girl Scouts has pivoted a little bit and tried to understand what is the future of a, a, a female in an industry that's got a gap where it's going to be a lot of opportunities. How do we get them started now? What do we get? What, what do we expose them to today that they will be interested in potentially, you know, getting a career in this field later? And of course, the event was an opportunity for the girls to add a brand new cybersecurity badge to their sashes. All right, important stuff there. we got a lot more coming up on Local 4 News today. Let's check in with Andrew, see if those bands are moving through or are gone with that high wind and that rain. Well, the rain is still around. The winds are still there as well, but fortunately, it's all leaving as we speak. So it does become drier later today. I'll let you know when and how long will these winds be picking up. We'll talk more about that. And of course, your seven day forecast as it feels more like fall later on this week coming right up. Plus, an entire high school football team forced to hand in their pads and helmets, and all the coaches are fired. The sneaky decision those coaches made that might end the school's football program entirely. Whoa. But first, we're getting our first look at UPS's new drone delivery service, life saving flights already underway. Andrew's going to break it all down in tech time when we come back. Gardner White crushes the competition. You get monster savings on furniture your family will love. Right now, take a whopping 25% off. That's an extra discount right off the sale price, including new arrivals. All leather, extra 25 off. Power reclining comfort, 25 off. Amish bedrooms and dining sets, you get 25 off solid wood. Top quality, colossal price cuts, unprecedented value. Forget the so-called sales. Save now at the monster sale. Sunday and Monday, only at Gardner White. You deserve a great night's sleep. And with Michigan's largest selection, Gardner White has the mattress that's right for you. Check out the all-new Tempur-Pedic Breeze and feel how it's engineered to transfer heat away from your body so you sleep cooler all night long. Enjoy the superior cooling comfort for just a dollar a day with 72 months interest-free and zero down. Plus, right now, you get a free 50-inch 4K TV and free same-day delivery. We won't be undersold on Tempur-Pedic. Don't overpay. Save. Sunday and Monday, only at Gardner White. I'm Florine Mark, back with new inspirational stories, new fitness tips and recipes, new motivation for healthy living. All new Ask Florine. The 2019 Cadillacs are made to move and made to shine. GM employees and eligible family members with a current eligible GM lease get this low mileage lease on this 2019 Cadillac Escalade for $6.99 per month. Wherever you go, go confidently with the benefit of blue. 
Medicare Advantage plans from Blue Cross give you all the things you need to feel completely cool in every situation. Want your free guide to Medicare? It's yours. Call now to get your copy and the peace of mind that comes from understanding your coverage options. There's no obligation. Want to keep your doctor? You got it. Blue Cross has the largest network of doctors and hospitals across the country. And Blue Cross Medicare Advantage plans start as low as $0 per month. Don't wait. Medicare's enrollment period ends December 7th. So call now and get the information you need with this free guide to Medicare. Do you have the confidence that comes with a Medicare Advantage plan from Blue Cross? You will. When you choose Blue Cross, wherever you go, go confidently. That's the benefit of Blue. In Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, well, call the nation's newest airline. A brand new fleet of aircraft already making vital medical deliveries and hoping to expand service right to your doorstep. UPS is slowly working to abandon the big brown truck and replace it with state-of-the-art drone technology. Now, with new FAA certification, UPS has partnered with a North Carolina hospital 16 times a day. Drones ferry tissue and blood samples across the sprawling 50-acre campus. Flight time, under three minutes. The old system, it could take hours to get over here. Anytime you're dealing with care of a patient, time is a factor. Kind of humbling to be at the beginning of the next generation of aviation. It's kind of trite, but the sky is the limit with drones. Looking forward, UPS and CVS reportedly have plans in the works to one day fly prescription drugs to your house. Now, of course, a campus is a more confined environment. Sure. When you're talking about neighborhoods crossing from city to city or town to town or even state to state, state it could be a different story, but could be quite promising as well. Good test study as well, but I like how they're doing it. Uh, like you said, in that enclosed environment, but with some life-saving options there. Technology fitting a vital need for many folks. We'll see how that program goes. They do have to deal with the weather, though. <laughs> they certainly do. <laughs> Whether it's unmanned air aircraft or manned aircraft, mm -hmm. that is certainly the case. And we've been dealing with rain over the past 24 hours. Fortunately, that rain getting lighter and lighter as we speak. That being said, we still have some pretty good downpours occurring in the thumb out toward the Saginaw Valley as well. You can see that spin in the atmosphere as the remnants of Olga, the center of it, is right on top of us. We've still got some scattered light rain here in Detroit, including now on the west side along uh, Grand River, also along Woodward Avenue. So be careful out there. It is still wet. Even if it stopped raining in your area, it's only stopped within the past hour or two. So chances are streets are still wet. You combine that with some of the freshly fallen leaves with windy conditions out there. It makes it extra slippery in many neighborhoods. So keep that in mind as you head out this morning. Factor in some extra time. Always watch out for pedestrians and your stopping distance may be longer rather than shorter. As you can see, we still have some downpours that are occurring here in the tip of the thumb. All that is slowly lifting away with the center of this storm. You can see that circulation right there just to the south and east of the Saginaw Valley, right around the uh, Lapeer area, also right around Flint. It continues to move away and it'll be out of our hair here within the next couple of hours. So that is some good news. In its wake, it does get drier. It still remains windy with temperatures in the 50s most of the day. Middle and upper 50s by midday hours. High temperatures between 57 and 60 degrees. But then those temperatures fall as we get into the afternoon. Some cooler air is being blown in here on those westerly winds. It does gradually get sunnier and we'll see mostly clear skies by dinner time. But grab your windbreakers and jackets as those temperatures start to plummet. Middle and low 50s by dinner time and by late at later this afternoon. We're looking at 50 degrees right now over at the airport. You're looking live at downtown Detroit. Barge is still going up and down the Detroit River, including ships. We're looking at 50 degrees currently and look at that wind of 24 miles per hour. Visibility still reduced down to about five miles or less, depending on where you are. Not only do we have football in town, we talked about that last half hour. We've got hockey right after football. St. Louis in town taking on the Red Wings. This game, the puck drops at 5 p.m. Tailgaters, if you're walking outside of Ford Field and by 2 p.m. temperatures will be in the upper 50s, low 50s when the game starts and low 50s once again when the game ends. It becomes chillier once we get into the nighttime hours. So if you're coming downtown for all the sports activities, make sure you have your windbreakers and hats as well. 52 right now for our friends over in Holly, upper 40s to about 50 degrees in Dundee. Temperatures are going to stay right about where they are and then fall into the low 50s once again later on this uh, later on this afternoon.
After that, we've got sunshine coming back. Now, 40s overnight, so quite chilly at the bus stop tomorrow morning, but 62 tomorrow, then back into the 50s. 40s once again, chilly and wet for Halloween. Back to you. No, very good, Andrew. Thank you very much. Take a look at this. Several students at UC Berkeley have been forced to evacuate their dorms after an alleged drunk driver crashed into a fire hydrant, causing some flooding on Saturday. Whoa. Uh Look out, the hydrant spewed water for over two hours, Holy causing smokes. water damage to the walls, flooded rooms, and running in the bathrooms. Part of the housing complex was evacuated. Some students still haven't been allowed back, and by the looks of it, it's going to be a while before they get to go back. The bottom floor of my building, the rooms had an inch of water oh, wow. inside the room, so some, I think some kids actually have to be rehoused, to, at least temporarily. The first floor is just completely wrecked. Students are questioning why that hydrant wasn't turned off sooner to prevent some water damage. You'd probably want to check with the water department because that's what it takes usually in that instance. In the meantime, a St. Louis high school football team was having its best season on record, but it could also be the last one. They were 7-0 as of last week. But when the players go back to school tomorrow, they're going to have to hand in their pads because the entire season has been canceled. All of the coaches have been fired. This all revolves around a player, a running back named Bill Jackson. He was ejected from the previous year's title game for unsportsmanlike conduct and was supposed to sit out for one game, the first game of the season. Well, here's the problem. That photo was taken during the first game of the season, and it turns out the coaches made up a fake student, even printing on, <laughs> off a jersey and dressed up Jackson in that uniform pretending he was someone else. Jackson ended up scoring the game-winning touchdown, and the head coach told a local newspaper he didn't know that all of this was against the rules. But that excuse, of course, didn't fly, so he's now out of a job. This morning, the State High School Athletic Association has not decided if the school is going to be able to play competitively next season. All right. And if you recently traveled through Metro Detroit Airport and lost a wedding ring, someone might have found it. Okay, a Facebook post making the rounds this weekend. Here it is. A local couple found this ring lying in the U.S. Park parking lot right outside the airport. The couple says if you reach out to them and can prove it's your ring by telling them what the inscription is inside the ring, they're certainly happy to get the ring right back to you. So is it yours? Head to our website for contact information so you can reach out to get your wedding band back. That'll be quite the story if in fact they do. Now the Red Wings were back at practice Saturday morning and right now they're trying to figure out how to snap a seven game losing streak. All right, so yesterday there was also something special going on at practice. Steve Gargiola, he's got the story. After the Wings regular practice, they had a special surprise for some fellow hockey players. The Red Wings Foundation sponsors a sled hockey team. It's a game for athletes who for various reasons don't have the use of legs. The Red Wings Warriors thought they were at practice to watch. But afterwards came the surprise, a donation of all new equipment and official Red Wings jerseys. For the Red Wings to come in and do all this extra stuff, get out on the ice with us and throw in sticks, gloves and jerseys, it's just unbelievable to have those guys backing us going into this tournament. The tournament is the upcoming USA Hockey Sled Classic in St. Louis. Jake Jones says this kind of recognition by the Red Wings is huge. People like us, when we didn't have a chance to necessarily play stand-up hockey and things like that, they grew up being big fans. You know, it's ultimately a dream come true for us to be able to wear the, the wheel, represent the team, you know, in the best way we can. The current Red Wings said this takes hockey to a different level. Trying to trying to figure out, you know, how how actually uh, hard it is, you know, to to move around, stick handle, and play on. It's it's a skill to be able to come out here and then uh, do what they do and just do it as well as they do it. It's uh, special, I think, uh, you know, seeing these guys, they, they have the same passion for hockey as I do and as we do and, you know, it's pretty cool we're from the same state and uh, to see them uh, with the wing wheel on and uh, they look the part and I know they're going to they're gonna play hard and represent uh, the Red Wings well. I'm Steve Garagiola, Local 4. You know, I was at one of those earlier uh, last year yes. when they did something that the, the guys, the hockey players are great and then the people interacting with them, you're having even more fun. It's a fantastic thing that they do. That's a that's a win for the Wings this weekend. Well done. And the guys going out to St. Louis for the tournament, good luck to you guys. Absolutely. Now, still ahead of Local 4 News today, Samsung recently launched a phone into space to take the world's first space selfie. 
and then send it back down to Earth safely so they could share it with the world. Turns out it's back on solid ground, but crash landing in one Michigan woman's farm or backyard. That certainly wasn't the plan. Nobody sells Sealy for less. Right now, get any size Sealy mattress set, twin, full queen, even king, just $97 each piece. Hurry, this sale ends soon. ABC Warehouse, the closest thing to wholesale. Selling or trading your car can sometimes be more trouble than it's worth. I'm Alex Broderick with Volunteers of America. We turn every donated car into a vehicle of hope for people in need. We'll quickly pick up your car, boat, RV, or motorcycle free of charge, handle all the paperwork, and you get a great tax deduction. It's really that simple. Call now to see if donating your vehicle makes sense for you. I'm Mike Morse. Over the years, you've heard me say, call me, call me, call me today, 855-855-855. Mike wins. Mike wins. Mike wins. The reasons why I say that. First, I want you to call me. And second, we win. I run Michigan's largest personal injury law firm, and we got there by doing one simple thing, winning. So one more time. Call me now, 855-MIKE-WINS. You heard him. Water makes life possible on Earth and in our homes. Culligan conserves this resource with its high-efficiency water softener, the world's best because it uses less water, and that matters to all of us. Click or call Culligan Water and start saving today. My grandmother, who's now deceased, was truly my best friend. She was always wanting to help people. I watched how my grandmother would give comfort and care, and I loved that about her. I wanted to be like that for other people. And those are the moments that matter. Oh, hey, Mr. World here. In the world's most shark-infested waters, where hidden dangers can really cost you. Totally opposite of Eyeglass World, the world's best way to buy glasses. Because at Eyeglass World, the costs are clear and simple, which is way better than bait and switch. Whoa. Especially when I'm the bait. With clear, simple pricing, Eyeglass World is the world's best way to buy glasses. Come get two pairs for $78. And try our new contact lens subscription for the world's best way to buy contacts. The rule of three states, things that come in threes are inherently more appealing. We couldn't agree more. Three SUVs, one GMC. GM employee program participants with a current eligible GM lease can get this low mileage lease on this 2019 GMC Terrain SLE for $169 per month for 24 months. We are professional grade GMC. Well, now for some stories making a buzz on social media this morning. A Saginaw County woman was startled when she heard a large crash in her backyard. But after looking outside at what it was, there were far more questions than answers. You never know what's going to happen. This baby fell out of the sky and landed in our yard. I love her description. <laughs> uh, this homeowner later found out that this device came from outer space. It was labeled the Samsung Space Selfie. Earlier this week, Samsung unveiled the world's first selfie sense of space or device to take a selfie. The device was used to send a selfie captured by actor and model Cara Della Vigny. Who? Delavine? Delavine? I don't know. All right. <laughs> well, here in Metro Detroit, we're all too familiar with road closures due to construction projects. Usually, even the worst case scenario, a detour only adds a few miles to your commute. One massive road work detour <laughs> in southwest England is being blasted on social media this morning. You're looking at a map of the 41 mile route <laughs> officials are telling drivers to take <laughs> over cow. a construction project that stretches just 65 feet. What's happening here is that there are no other roads in this rural community that can accommodate the levels of high traffic normally on this road, so they had no other choice. Fortunately, it was supposed to be wrapped up by Monday. That's an orange barrel alert. Man, oh man, I, you know, I just had to go to the Davison this morning off of the lot. So did I. I. You know, but... but. That's miles. Good luck. You got to walk. All right. Well, the Houston Astros uh, number one fan got a very special surprise for her 100th birthday. Here's Burma Beal. She's a huge Astros fan. So to celebrate her birthday, her friend and caretaker decided to reach out to the team. Making it to the World Series was a gift in itself. But on top of that, they sent Burma a very special letter saying happy birthday. 
it thrills me to death because to me, I have been so blessed. The Lord has blessed me so much. And uh, then to get something like this is just a tremendous honor. They actually <laughs> actually came through came with through, it. Came yeah. through, came through. And they came through in a very big way. Very nice. Good job, Astros. The Astros even gave Burma uh, lots of Astros swag to wear while her team is battling it out in the World Series. 2-2 now in the That's World right. Series. That's right. tuning in. Yeah. All right. Big stuff. A brother and sister meet for the very first time thanks to modern technology. Brittany and Rod Hobbs are brother and sister, but only recently found out. Now, Rod learned as a teenager that the man he thought was his dad wasn't, and his mom passed away before telling him who his biological father was. So using private detectives and DNA experts, he finally found his birth father and a sister. Struggled and was on my own. I grew up with pretty much no family. I was sorry that we lost so much time. In their distance in the past, now the complete family is making up for lost time. Wow, that's touching. Everyone looks the same, too. Very, very, cool. very nice. Yeah. In Albuquerque this week, it was life imitating art. Beer brewed by a breaking bad actor sells out in a matter of hours. There he is signing the beer. On the show, actor Dean Norris played a DEA agent named Hank Schrader, who made his own brand of beer in his garage in his spare time. Earlier this week, Norris and Breaking Bad co-star actor Stephen Quazeda launched the beer for real, and it sold out in just three hours. Norris says he plans to make more, a lot more, and eventually go nationwide. Breaking Bad fans lining up. Cashing in on the big deal, and they had the great show, and of course, those were the good guys in the show. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Looking ahead to the next week, Saturday night, live. <laughs> it's going to be back with an all-new episode hosted by Kristen Stewart with special guest Coldplay. So last night was Chance the Rapper. And then, as always, Saturday Night Live right here on Local 4 at 1130, following Local 4 News at 11. Well, we continue to follow tragic news out of Greenville, Texas, just north of Dallas. That's where at least two people were killed. 14 others rushed to the hospital after someone opens fire inside a college homecoming party. Our Larry Spools following the story. He has the latest. We'll be back in two minutes. Good Sunday morning. We've got Flashpoint coming your way this morning at 10 o'clock. I hope you're going to join us as we sit down for a conversation with Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan. A lot to talk about. Facial recognition technology in the city. Uh, the announcement from Wayne State University about free tuition for Detroit High School graduates. But yes, also a rather harsh report from the Inspector General about the city's Make Your Date program. Devin, we've had, we recovered the emails. They've been posted on the city website yes, they don't, for three months. They don't really go and, away, that's and, right. And, and, but here's the beauty. You haven't seen nothing in the OIG report said there was any problem in the emails. You haven't covered any problem in the emails. The emails are anonymous. No, it, that, that's, that, but that's the old okay, saying, but, Mayor, that the, the problem is never the problem. I, I it's agree always with the cover you. And when I heard about this, Dave Masson, our CFO, and I said, oh, great, this email thing. A lot to discuss with Mayor Duggan coming up. And have you noticed a lot of unusual, strange new news sites showing up from apparently cities in Michigan? Dozens of them. What's it all about? It's this morning at 10 on Flashpoint.